Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and in this video I will be showing you how to root your Oppo Find 7A that is the Find 7 with the 1080p display uh, with a custom recovery. So the first thing you do is connect your Oppo Find 7A to the PC with a micro USB cable. So once you've connected it, you will get uh, the Oppo driver pop up. So this is what you'd see so go ahead run setup and it might be in Chinese just go ahead get it done get the driver installation over with all right so once this is done I'll go ahead click on link one from the download section in the description that would take you to this page download Android SDK slim dot zip from there and save it onto your PC then link 2 will take you to this page so depending on what custom recovery you want be it clockwork mod or twrp just download the relevant file for the purpose of this tutorial i'll be showing you how to perform this procedure with clockwork mod it's going to be the same steps if it's twrp so don't worry about that so link 3 will take you to this page uh, where you can download the latest version of super su from so download that so once you've downloaded these three files, this is what you'd have. So over here, right click on Android SDK Slim and extract here. And I've just copy clockwork CWM recovery.img and paste it inside. And the super SU file that we downloaded from link three, just uh, transfer to your Oppo Find 7, the internal storage. All right, so I've done that already. So now let's quickly shift back to the Find 7. So guys, now hold the power button on your Find 7. Turn it off. Disconnect it from the PC. Now hold up volume and power at the same time. Once you get, once you feel a vibration, just let it go. That will take you to the fast boot mode. So now connect your phone back to the PC with a micro USB cable. Leave it as it is, let's quickly shift back to the PC. So guys, now going back to Android SDK Windows, Platform Tools, uh, the folder where we just transferred the CWM underscore recovery.img file. So over here, hold shift, right click, open command window here. So that will open up uh, command prompt. So here quickly type on fastboot devices. And you would see, you would see something like this. Uh, if you get waiting for device or if nothing returns, it means you have driver issues. Just go ahead, reboot your PC, reinstall the drivers, and uh, it would work. So right now, uh, type in fastboot flash recovery, and uh, you're you're gonna have to type in x9007. So just type type in x9 and hit tab. That will fill up the rest. Now hit enter. So once it says finished, quickly switching back to your phone, let's just unplug the phone from the PC. Uh, from the PC. So right now, do not reboot the phone. Just hold power and down volume at the same time. Just keep holding it till you feel a vibration. And once you feel the vibration, let the keys go. So as you can see, we are now in clockwork mod based recovery. Let me just zoom out a bit. So guys, if you let your phone boot before booting into clockwork mod recovery, uh, Oppo recovery gets flashed again. So you'll have to repeat the steps. So make sure that you get, you press power and down volume before you let the phone reboot. So anyway, right now select install zip, choose zip from SD card and over here, navigate to update super SU. Hit power so like the volume key is act for navigation the power key for selection so here install so this will take a few seconds so once that's done go back reboot system now your phone will now boot back up so we're up so just quickly going into the app draw and there you see we have super su installed 
okay so the phone is currently rooted with super su so guys uh if your phone does not have google play services uh if you want to flash g apps follow on so to, uh, to flash g apps click on link 4 from the download section in the description uh that would take you to this page so over here since uh uh, the Find 7, uh, the Find 7A is currently running Color OS, uh, which is based on 4.3. Just download the relevant package. Download this file. Uh, okay, let me just show you. It would be in the form of a zip file. This would be the zip file that you get. G apps JB 2013 uh, 3813 sign.zip. So download this file and transfer it to the internal SD, just like you did with the Super SU file. So once you've transferred that, I've already done that. Let's quickly jump back to the phone. So guys, now with the phone off, hold power and down volume again. We're gonna get back into Clockwork Mod recovery or whatever recovery that is you've installed Clockwork Mod or DWRP. So like the last time, let the key let the keys go once you feel the vibration. So that gets us back into recovery. So guys, we are in Clockwork Mod Recovery. The first thing you do is uh, use the volume keys to navigate, the power key to select, go down, select wipe cache partition. Yes, wipe cache. So just wait for it to complete. So once that's done, uh, go to advanced, wipe down the cache. So now go back, so go to install zip, choose zip from SD card, and over here select the gapps file. So the zip file that we downloaded from link 4, select it. This will take a few seconds to install, so just wait for it to complete. So once that's done, go back, uh, reboot system now, and uh, you can select no. So your phone will boot back up now. So guys, while the phone's booting back up, it it's normal to see a color OS is upgrading message. So just just wait for that to complete, and your phone will be back up. So guys, we're up, and I've just signed into uh, my Google account. Uh, you might run into a few uh, errors when 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 the phone's just up. Don't worry about it. Just go ahead, uh, uh, sign into your account, and it would work. So. That's Google Nav working. Uh, Google settings. Uh, I've downloaded root checker from the Play Store. So just to show you, we're finding root access, front, and the device has root access. So that's done. So I guess that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you liked it. Hope you found it useful. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And for more videos like these, make sure you stay subscribed. So thanks a lot for watching guys, uh, till next time, this is Asher from C4E Tech signing off, you guys have a great day, bye bye now.